my angels, welcome back to Vlogmas and welcome back to the most anticipated Vlogmas vlog of all time. I have had so many questions about what is coming a little bit later and I am so excited to say that it is finally the Christmas floral installation day. I'm talking bigger and better than ever. Winter Wonderland Christmas extravaganza. So buckle up, it is going to be mega. We are doing an enormous garland on the fireplace in the kitchen, beautiful floral arrangements in the kitchen and in the hallway, as well as a beautiful garland in the drawing room. Also going to be dotting round our beautiful family decorations as well. Well, dried florals, florals that are going to last a few months, which is so important, and it is going to be spectacular. So, Nem and his incredible team from Flowered have just arrived, and it is already not only looking beautiful, but smelling magnificent. So, let's do this. These are the beautiful reefs that are literally just about to be finished. And look at all of these blooms. So I'm giving away our color scheme for this year, but we are going with a sort of dark, rich, red, beautiful, deep burgundies, fresh greens. Look at these gorgeous berries. And let me tell you, the foliage is absolutely exquisite enormous might I add but look at these gorgeous berries nothing quite shouts Christmas more than beautiful fresh vibrant berries I cannot wait to see this all come to light <laughs> just a tiny little branch oh my goodness gracious me gosh it's enormous I cannot wait <laughs> oh my goodness, it is all happening. <laughs> Nemo's in the fireplace. <gasps> oh my goodness gracious me. I said big, but he's gone bigger. <laughs> so this is the floral megastar and his team in action. Everybody has met you before, but this is the incredible Nem from Flowered. I cannot wait for today. This is my most highly anticipated vlog of this all time. This is pretty much announcement of everything. Like, <laughs> Literally, whimsical nice. berries, Christmas extravaganza. Okay. So talk me through what is happening over here. So in here we're making well, the most beautiful, the biggest, outrageous, and the most I dramatic arrangement yes. ever. Oh like, my gosh! This fireplace for itself is it needs it. Yeah, but it does need. It can more take. It can take a lot. More right. is more, actually, in this particular so instance. This and that branch, <gasps> just we will beautiful. Put some Amaryllis inside as well. Oh, that will grow just for Christmas. I think, oh my time. gosh, it's gonna be amazing! Yeah, gonna be like dark red, so and I do cool. also have some really sweet little dainty birds that we can place in there and just give it a little sparkle. Exactly. <gasps> oh yeah. gosh, I cannot so, yeah, wait! Pretty much fun evening for us. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> starting to take shape. <laughs> the hydrangeas have just gone in and it is looking magnificent. It is really beginning to pop. I just cannot wait. It's almost like a live floral installation because there are stunning amaryllis embedded within the incredible arrangement. And hopefully, just before Christmas, they are going to grow out of that stunning foliage. It is absolutely 
absolutely breathtaking. And I can't believe how quickly it's all come together. But with floral arranging, one, you need just the magician that is Nem and his <laughs> incredible team. And two, it's also all about like architecture in a way and structure. Yeah. Because essentially this is self-standing, just to ensure it doesn't um, fall off. <laughs> But um, I cannot wait, can't wait to see it finished. Still in the process, but the ribbons are going on. The burgundy hydrangeas are a moment and I am obsessed. Look at the gorgeous leaves. I just love that rust color. And I think it lends itself so well to the other furniture in the room. I am literally <laughs> swept off my feet and in love with this beautiful garland. I'm not sure you can even call this a garland. This is an extravaganza of a fireplace. Oh, hold on to your knickers because the rest of it is going to be epic. Later one would mix. Yeah. And then this one red. And then that one red. Perfect. Gosh, look at all of this. It's amazing. Little babies. little babies. And gosh, they look absolutely beautiful. The oranges and limes yeah. of absolute dreams. Yes, it smells like, like Christmas in here. And look at these beautiful reefs. Oh my gosh, they're absolutely stunning. Gosh, she really is the queen of reefs. Look at those bows. They are stunning. Stunning. It literally is a floristry explosion in here, but I cannot wait to see it all come together. You have already seen our Christmas tree lit up to perfection. Gorgeous little prezzies underneath. This is literally a dream come true. I cannot wait until we can do a full walkthrough of all of the beautiful florals for our 2023 floral installation. It is looking absolutely exquisite. And it also smells so festive in here. I'm having honestly the best day. Here he is. His Lordship. Odie, what do you think of the Christmas decorations? What do you think of all the florals? <laughs> He's so naughty. No tinkling in here. No? No tinkling, you naughty little sausage. You want to say hi to everybody? Well, he really is the star of the show, isn't he? <laughs> he honestly is. He is such a perfect little pickle. Until he cocks his legs on something. <laughs> okay, baby. Come on then, let's go. Did you? <laughs> oh my god, how did Leonora burn oh, her Oh my god, I love this. She's just trying to light she an electric the battery. She lit the battery. Why is this not lighting? <laughs> I've officially lost it. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh. And it's only the beginning. Yeah. And I'm already trying to light electric candles. <laughs> Gonna take them out. <laughs> so we are now moving on to the floral arrangement centerpiece of the kitchen which is looking whimsical magical and look at all of this beautiful foliage so what is this is this pine that's scotch pine oh bird pine gosh. and the bird tree oh <gasps> the bird I have tree a little touch of like oh my leaves goodness the tiniest on. little leaves still on i might even have to attach our tiny little dainty birds to it yes. add a little sparkle and then and look of course, oh gosh look at the those. color oh 
Christmas berries. Yes. What is their formal name? Ilex. Ilex. I'm learning so many new things. Together. And it really does yeah, just make it, makes it pop with so many elements yeah. of red in our kitchen as well. Right. It is. Red is very much present. <laughs> very All much present. Now, please excuse the state of the table. This is not going to look like this, but look at that view. I am absolutely blown away. We've still got to tweak a couple of bits, and then I will give you the final grand tour. is finished and it is looking so beautiful honestly when Nem and I talk we sort of talk about the inspiration and what I would love to be able to create and then he just takes my ideas and just brings them to life and exceeds all of my expectations and it looks absolutely beautiful and whilst Nem designs all of this and creates it it's my job to style it so I brought out all of our favourite Mackenzie Charles little pots. Look at me, I've got like ash all over my hands and I'm going to pop little candles in those beautiful pots. And then although I would normally use this as sweet treats, I think what I'm going to do is use these beautiful dried fruits and put limes, lemons and just make it really natural. I've also got some pine cones that I'm going to pop in here and put some oranges. And I just think that it will really, really lend itself so well to the other natural features in the kitchen. I've also got a couple of silver pieces that are going to come out that only come out at this time of year. And they're all shaped <laughs> in Santa Claus shapes. So I'm going to go to the silver cupboard and I'm going to get those out. And I'll come back and show you what the full styled floral arrangement looks like. Just coming through to the drawing room. Oh, oh my gosh, fine. just in time. This looks absolutely beautiful. Gosh, it's also such a difficult fireplace to work with because it's mm -hmm. such a tiny, <laughs> tiny little ledge. Yeah, in this one we use the peppercorns. To oh, pick look. the color from the room. Oh, look at those peppercorns. Yeah. They are so dainty and just so sweet. Yeah. You've got the are they eight? They're, they're pine cones. Pine, pine cones. Pine Gosh, you can really pick up the colour just so you can see the room. It yeah. is literally perfection personified. Mm -hmm. Gosh. Tell it for this one. <laughs> yes, so beautiful. And so my styling is finished and I couldn't be more delighted. So I have placed all of the beautiful Mackenzie Child's little light holders and I have placed little tea lights in there. The gorgeous oranges, the limes and the pine cones. And then we have our gorgeous silver Santa Claus and I've just popped out some very naughty champagne truffles. And I think this looks absolutely in incredible it's definitely a showstopper and i think it really just brings out all those gorgeous colors in the kitchen i am over the moon and i just can't wait to see everybody else's reaction i think it's wild it's natural yet you've definitely still got that wow moment so this is the final masterpiece on the fireplace in the kitchen and I, I just don't have words. It's everything that I could have dreamt it would be. You've got the incredible pines and those insane branches that create the volume and the drama of this incredible masterpiece. 
And then if you keep looking in, you've got these beautiful hydrangeas and dark burgundies. You all know that I am having a serious bow moment. And I just love how it's so cohesive with the Christmas tree. You guys have already seen the Christmas tree, so you will know that they match perfectly. And then we have almost like the copper and rust branches throughout. And I think once this foliage dries, it will look so beautiful all together. And then it comes down this side. And you have all seen Santa Claus a few times now, but this is just such a special piece. And I thought that he belonged in front of the fireplace. And then if we come into the fireplace, I always like to have candles lit if we don't actually have the official incredible fire lit. So it just creates a little bit of light in what is quite a dark area. The gorgeous Mackenzie Charles lanterns, the iconic Holland Cooper candle, and my little scrunchkin. Are you Santa's little elf? <laughs> Are you Santa's little help today? What do you think of the Christmas decorations? Do you love them? Yeah? Oh, my precious one. And then it wouldn't be Christmas without Mrs. Alice's little reindeers with the gold antlers. I'm obsessed. I'm literally obsessed with every single detail. And um, I can't thank them and his team enough. He's literally just brought my entire dream into reality. And um, gosh, I hope you guys love it as much as we do. Yeah? The magical elves are out here now, <laughs> doing the front. Head of security over here. Gosh, my goodness me, this is literal heaven. So we've done one side already and we're creating an enormous arch. And then it's just down here, look at these hydrangea blooms. <gasps> they are absolutely We're making a little beautiful. garland. A little them. garland. Mm -hmm. So if anybody was at home, how would, you, um, how would you tell somebody or explain how you're creating these? Just need to trust me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Just hire Nem yeah, just to hire do your Christmas me. decorations. <laughs> no, really. Well, if anyone wants to do this, we can forage the ranges, basically. You don't need the stamps. You can yep. just get the heads off. Just the they heads. They will dry beautifully. These they will dry. And, well, we can show them off. Yeah, so exactly. Goes. So you've got the wire there. So the you need to get yourself good. some garden wire. Yeah. And then, basically, use this. We can do the same thing with the cones or with the oranges. Amazing. But, and then it easily goes into and your arrangement. It's going to pop it up there. Yeah. So use mechanic off the tree, so it just goes around here. See, and then actually falling down. And then you just put them up a little bit into the branches. So they will kind of find their place. Amazing. You know, look they will naturally find their own yeah. place. And look at that. As well, though they boom. are growing out of our house. So yeah. beautifully and naturally. <laughs> Gosh, Nam, you are and so talented. continue adding more. Exactly. And look at the Christmas lights. I must say, the yeah. flowered van is looking very Christmassy. Very festive. Look at that. Yeah. Extremely festive. And I have a small little feeling that our family of reindeer, oh, head of security, <laughs> are out and in force. So you can't quite see them here. But as you can see, we've lit up all of the beautiful trees that are in the central roundabout and look at our gorgeous family of reindeer don't they look so sweet and when you drive in at night it looks so atmospheric and beautiful oh, and look at that moon oh my goodness me now that is a breathtaking sight nighttime the beautiful trees lit up and the moon just poking through the trees. So, so beautiful. Now, I have just been told that the wreath has been hung on the back door. I'm still yet to show you the front door finished, but let's go and take a look at Mart Martina's exquisite wreath. So Martina's is the most talented 
talented florist and her forte is most certainly reefs and I think you'll agree with me her talent is mesmerizing this is wild it's natural I just love the fact that the closer you look the more details you see from those beautiful berries to the cones all of these dried fruits the limes the oranges or the copper branches it's whimsical and it's outrageously magical and I just love that green ribbon. So, so beautiful and just makes me smile every time I'm going to come to the back door. I recognise the bark. That is Wiggy. That is Wiggy shouting inside. He is the littlest yet he's the mighty one and he's the most vocal one. <laughs> I'm missing out. I'm missing out. Let me out there. Oh my gosh, Nem, this is looking insane. I wish, I want people to see this in the daylight as well. To be honest with you, me too. Yeah, exactly. You're going to have to come back. Come back for champagne. Oh my gosh, Martinez, can you talk us through these exquisite reefs? <laughs> Come on, you can do this. Okay. Shy. She's shy, but she is the magician behind these. Oh, she is. Look at them. Absolutely breathtaking reefs. Right, well, let's both go. both of you, actually, because you kind of, oh, don't, don't be modest. No, 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 definitely kinda, not. She is taking, look, like. look at that. Do you not think that they look <laughs> incredible? So we've got the beautiful double doors into the main house, and I think that they look absolutely the stunning. Reefs with massive bows. Massive bows, bigger the better, under this beautiful lantern, and gosh, they look so special. So so special. So let's take a closer. Where's Wiggy? Oh no, Wiggy. Rafi. None of that business, please. No <laughs> licking your bits on camera. Very naughty. He says, Mommy, it's absolutely perishingly cold. Can we go inside? Inside. Good boys. But to give you a close-up. Oh, I'm going to close them in. Give you a close-up of these reefs. So we've gone with the burgundy bows. So that when you open up the front door, you are going to get that wow moment. It's so cohesive throughout the entire house. We've got the ribbons on the tree, the ribbons on the fireplace, and I just think it looks spectacular. I love how they've just almost like stuck the berries in. They've got the gorgeous oranges, the pine cones, the burgundy hydrangeas, and they are absolute perfection. Perfect if I can say so myself. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Treats, someone's a lot of treats. It's too cold. <laughs> Let's head on inside. Come on then, mommy's got her fluffy slippers on that match you, that match my beautiful pickle person. Come on then. What are you doing? What are you doing? He loves you, Nam. Is he, he wants to, no, he, he likes mine. the safari. Well, what are you doing? He's a safari hunter. Lancelot, what are you doing? There's a much easier way. <laughs> He's like, okay, I'm not mommy. As fun as this not one. as fun. No, oh, right, we've got three in, one to go. This is the insane central floral arrangement. I am, <laughs> like, I just think I'm running out of words at this point. I'm just so pleased with the way that it's turned out and just the way that it looks so beautiful in the home. He's incorporated all the colours and the different colours and it just looks so magical. So we've got that real berry moment in the middle there with those gorgeous red berries. Incredible hydrangea blooms as well as our own Annabelle hydrangeas that have been drying all autumn. Some gorgeous rose hip twigs at the top there that still have little leaves on. I'm sure these may leave us in due course, but they look absolutely beautiful. Got some fern in there, some Christmas pine, and at the bottom there we have white company Christmas candle, which needs to be lit. I'm obsessed. I think that this looks absolutely stunning. It is now time to go and take a look at the front of the house for the very first time. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely stunning. Nem, oh, this is insane. Oh my gosh. I hope it is. 
Babe, this is incredible. What's the little bomb there? Oh my god, this is beautiful. It's a, it's a so whole, beautiful. A whole... I love how the lights shine through and yeah. then the hydrogen is up at the top. At the and... top and on the left and right from it. So and you have a lot of look of the and, and oranges and everything. And everything. Yeah. You have oh. oh my god, I love it so much. Honestly, I can't good. thank you enough. You take a photo tomorrow and I will film I will take all the pictures yes. that uh, honestly be, I'll take pictures of everything. I can't thank you enough. And you as well. You're amazing. <laughs> oh, I love you. Thank you. you again. Thank you so much. Oh, you you're so an much, angel. Guys. Merry Christmas. Will, uh, Merry Christmas too. Merry too. Christmas. As you can hear, Floward are just leaving and they have honestly created Christmas for us here at home. So whilst we're out here, it's absolutely perishingly cold, I wanted to show you the outside of the house and take you from out here into our home. So let's go through. First of all, we have the beautiful reefs on the front door under the exquisite copper lantern and the details, the burgundy bows, the oranges, the berries, all of the foliage. It is absolutely beautiful. All the intricate details from the burgundy to the oranges to the limes, the pine cones, they have just done the most exquisite job. Now, are you ready? Welcome to our home. Oh, Christmas has officially happened. So here we have the incredible mirror, the lamps and the beautiful side table. And here we have planted up one of our favorite planters. This is an antique piece actually. And this is something that's going to last actually for probably around about six to eight weeks. So it's a fantastic sustainable way of getting fresh florals into the house. And these are just some beautiful amaryllis and they are going to literally grow until about up here and they are going to be vibrant red ready for Christmas. So although they look a little bit bare now, they are live and they are going to be growing. And then we've just popped a little bit of moss on the top. You do need to water these and then of course we've decorated them with the beautiful branches, still have their leaves on and incredible giant pine cones and I just think they look absolutely stunning. You have all seen the tree before, but I just thought you might as well have another glimpse. Of course, we've gone heavy with the decorations and we've got all of those gorgeous burgundy bows throughout it. And I'm just obsessed with every single detail. Then we have the beautiful wild floral arrangement, which is also incorporating our garden, which is dried. And it's just such a lovely way of being able to be super sustainable. And this is something that's going to actually last. Do you know what? You're probably going to see this floral arrangement until about Easter <laughs> because it's going to dry so beautifully. And I'm just obsessed with the colours. They've just done it so well that it picks different elements, whether it's the red piping on the staircase or whether it's the blue hydrangeas that match the pot and the table and the green, it just brings the wood, the burgundy, the ambers, the golds throughout the house. And I think that's just where Nem is so talented and his team. And it's also perfect from all sides. So if you come with me and take a look at this side, anybody coming out of the dining room, which at the moment is top secret because we will be doing the most almighty tablescape. It wouldn't be Christmas without a Leonora or a tablescape, would it? But we are going to go through to the drawing room and I'm going to show you the most beautiful setting for literally Christmas Eve. A glass of red wine, canapes, drinks parties, opening our presents. It literally is the dream. I don't know about you, but this is the most magical setting that is. It's such a warm and cozy, welcoming room. And we've got our lovely chairs here with all of our Christmas cushions. We've got two very posh peacocks <laughs> with their beautifully glittery tails and feathers. And of course you have the beautiful fireplace, which is set underneath the most stunning, classy and classic garland I have ever seen. So you've got the traditional pines and Christmas, yet you've got these beautiful tiny little, I think what he called them was cherry berries. I might be wrong there, but whatever they are, they look simply stunning. You've got the pine cones, the beautiful burgundy hydrangeas with the green centers, beautiful flowers. 
Honestly, I just think that Nem just picks colors out of the room and he brings the room to life with the florals and he's just so talented. I don't know about you, but I would love to get all cozy by the fire with Marcus, maybe a glass of red wine and just enjoy the evening. And I have fallen in love with our Christmas floral installation this year. It is absolutely beautiful, but Marcus is not yet home and I cannot wait to see his reaction. Fingers crossed he'll agree to allow us to film it. Um, so I'm going to be pouring myself a glass of champagne to celebrate an amazing day and I will come back and hopefully get Mark's reaction. I think with the main light switched off, it looks so atmospheric and beautiful, especially with the lights. I hear Marcus has literally just got home, so I cannot wait to hear his thoughts. This is looking absolutely stunning with the little tea lights twinkling away. Pumps? Mark? Yeah. You coming in? I think, I hope he's gonna like it. Should we try and get his reaction? Hi. Oh, wow. What do you think? Oh, it's beginning to look. Like Christmas. Christmas! What do you think? Doesn't it look amazing? Wow. Look at the lights underneath. It looks Santa's out with his truffles. Gosh, it them? looks so beautiful. No! <laughs> I'm so happy with the way that it turned out. It looks so beautiful. Wow. Do you like the hydrangeas? Amazing. And look at all the burgundy bows. Amazing. Don't they look amazing? amazing? They are stunning. Oh, the bread candles. Gosh, I need to blow them out. <laughs> the reindeers. I need to blow them out before they're too far gone. But don't you think it looks incredible? But, you want to come through here? <laughs> come through here. We've got some gorgeous hyacinths in the pot with the pine cones and all of this sort of bits. I was thinking about actually like spraying a little bit of uh, glitter on here or gold or okay. even snow. A little, snow. a little bit of snow. And then we come through to the main hallway. We have the Christmas tree of absolute dreams, of course, he has seen. And then we have the hallway table of That's absolute amazing. dreams. It looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Look at the berries and the hydrangeas. Do you like it? I love it. Yeah? Well You're feeling very Christmassy? Done. And finally, let's head through to the drawing room. We've gone very classic and classy in here with a dainty little garland above the fireplace. Beautiful. I love how he's just like pulled the colours out and it matches in with the mirror beautifully. And actually, what I would like to do is buy, they actually sell them on Amazon, and I'm going to get electric little red lights that come out, and it will just create a little bit of light behind that garland, and I think it will reflect off the mirror beautifully. But our perfect peacocks are in position, and that fireplace is looking spectacular. Are you happy? Very happy. Yeah? He absolutely <laughs> hates this. Sorry, baby, but I wanted to get your reaction. Mm. Anyway, today has literally been a dream come true. The Christmas decorations couldn't be more beautiful if we tried. Marcus is already at home in his chair by the fire and honestly, I truly cannot thank Nem and his team enough. Today has been just incredible and what he has created is nothing short of magical. I am, um, somebody pinch me. This little pickle, yeah, trotting through proud as punch has just been caught red handed with a wet willy beard. Mmm, terrible. Hi my angels. So this is actually future Leo. <laughs> so I just wanted to be able to show this to you in the daylight and just so that you can see the beauty of it. So I've quickly lit the candles again and I just wanted you to be able to see the fresh greens and all those gorgeous burgundies. It really is absolutely beautiful. Now we're gonna head outside before it gets dark again so that you can see the front of the house and see quite just how beautiful it is. And then <laughs> we will go back to current Leonora and say our final farewell. Probably left this slightly too late, but at least you can see the front of the house and the front doors. 
I think it looks absolutely incredible. And I'm so glad that I can actually show it to you in, <laughs> I probably wouldn't say daylight, but at least you can see all of those gorgeous hydrangea blooms and just how magical this is. It's wispy, it's whimsical, it's country. It's so elegant, yet so beautiful. All those pine cones, oranges, ivy, hydrangeas. It looks absolutely sensational. And those two gorgeous reefs on the front. So that is what it looks like in the daytime. We're now gonna jump back and I will say my final farewell. Very naughty sausage indeed. Anyway, back in the kitchen, and I think I am going to be spending the entire evening just staring at this fireplace masterpiece. Absolute masterpiece. I feel like I could go on and on and on, but <laughs> in all honesty, I do need to be making some dinner for Marcus and myself, and I think we might even sit by the fire and eat dinner. It has been the day from heaven. It honestly has just been one of those days that I have been grinning ear to ear and I cannot wait for Christmas with our beautiful floral installation. Well, I truly hope you guys have enjoyed this one as much as I have loved every single second of today and I cannot wait to see you tomorrow. As always, sending you so much love.